So, on the off chance you accidentally trigger an alarm you didn't know you had in your ear or time or start to count it down. Then remember the code 6492, punch it into the keypad before, before the time run goes off. If you don't, well, blame Zaya and run like you. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that. But only if we are stop saying Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her um, hair or whatever she calls it. Good morning. Sleep well. Glyph, did you save a copy of that picture for me? Of course, Dr. Shepard.
shepherd no great human. I give you this funny feeling. Would like to know what feeling is? When's the food gonna be ready? My feeling is that it's great. I don't remember much after I well, ate the land. Not funny at all. Shepherd. Okay, who wants eggs? They are. Eggs. Trainer. Esteban. Eggs. Joker. Where is that? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy. Eggs. Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javid, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Yes. You know my eggs. Morning. Yes, going to be I'm drinking all the coffee fun. today. All of it. This is nice. Man, I'm gonna miss everyone. Hey. Shepard? Eggs? Shepard. What do you want? Morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. I should never end it. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. I hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzz series since I got my nose break. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that extra shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. I will gladly tell you this. I managed not to throw up. I'm pretty good about that. Oh, well, everyone should just not talk around me. That would be great. That wasn't since I was dumb. Or close the covers too loud. Or walk too loud. Yeah, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ship was hit. Fairly damaged. Still fun though. Commander. Commander. Next thing I can remember, the face of the creature you called the Iron. I was in great pain. The creature was kind. It did what it could for me by applying its own medicine to my alien form. I was transported off planet. But I remember all the main green light. Then we were in the whole world of the Ark. Again, Captain, forgive me if I'm not more clear, but I wasn't intelligent yet. Give me a chance. I presume my injuries were too severe for the Ark to repair. Perhaps I reacted back to the best Because the next thing I remember is being moved back into the ship. Things broke dim. My next memory is being on board a Doomga starship. Wet, flash, throbbing all around me. Doomga laughing as they worked on the body. It was kind of disturbing. Suddenly, like the explosion of a bomb, thought, a real thought, flooded my brain. I don't know how or why, but the Doomga has discovered that my brain can easily change. Through one, getting true intelligence. Duty calls, huh? Yeah, still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Right there with you. Thing which makes my ship retract and my talent. 
Yes. I sense the ugliness of a thousand We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. The best. Foolish renegade human. Why have you come here? All that you have found is your inevitable punishment. What? A human in a precursor service vehicle. How did you escape the slave shield, human? Or are you a rogue? We send this to an animal shelter for proper disposal as abortion is not an appropriate alcohol. That is not okay. She messed with my hamster, guys. Now it's person. Guys, were you gonna say something or... No, no, I get it. Are you even my Did we check on my fish? Because if she's getting rid of all the pets... We should probably deal with her first, huh? All right. Sit tight, for guy. Anybody gives you trouble?
require us to decimate Earth. You would have survived combat with us before. You may survive the insolent battle. If this happens, leave. Return to your home. Await our arrival there. If you would interfere with us here, we may lose the doctrinal conflict with the Gorah. If we are defeated, you are defeated as well. The Gorah will be unfinished. Strongest are not feared or vile for their strength. 
The woman I was knew that she could only achieve this by becoming something greater. Accept the remnant of the Gora fleet. There is power in control. There is wisdom in harnessing the strengths of the enemy. Began our own migration, moving around the galaxy in the opposite direction. I will restore the enemy I fought for. I will lead an army that none will dare oppose. I will protect, defend. I will destroy those who threaten the future of the The Urquan, Kazanzar, or Face. And throughout it all, I will never forget. I will remember the ones who fought. Oh, I don't know. Something. Something. Ancient. So that the men can survive. Spell. A chilling wind. My ancestors scream from within their chambers in my mind. But I cannot understand their words. This feeling. A memory. It sickens us. And for the first time in our lives. For the first time in generations. We fear we are the Urquan Core Arm. We cleanse our destiny. You will soon die. Make whatever rituals are necessary for your species. In the 20,000 years of our mission, we have heard more pleas for mercy than you could possibly imagine. And I will keep a watchful eye on the ones who live on their geniuses. Those who carry the memory of the woman I once was. We are the Urquan Core. A woman who fought to become the Urquan. Your presence here is premature. We fight the Kazanza for supremacy of doctrine and possession of the Sarmatra. When the battle is won, our task is simple. We cleanse. You are the Lord. Never happened. That's the solution. 
whom we exterminated. You said and you are the why we cleanse the galaxy of all other what are you? Life. A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve ago. a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI. In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reavers. But you were created. Correct. By whom? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers. Precisely. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. And what happened to your creators? They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're in war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. Why is that hard to believe? When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines, programmed to do what we're told. You have hope, more than you think. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Can you imagine, alien, what it must have been like to wear an excruciator? To live in endless screaming pain for months on end? But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. 
Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Declare the path of now and forever. Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. From the surface came a plea, identical to the words you spoke a few moments ago. The one-eyed creatures, may I know. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. While we fought, the Mayel Nolan escaped. We never found them again. When our battle was done, we the core. So the elusive man was right after all. However, the Kazertsa let us go. Yes, but he could never have taken we control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. You will no longer be organic. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me. Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is... Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. Oh, no. Why not? Synthetics are already part of it. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace. The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. Our primary trait good is information, while right here on the display screen, is something which, I am certain, could be the calculator back to you. We can discuss the details of this very significant information later, when we have established normal trading procedures, at which time we shall also discuss the nature of our needs. Let me explain how our system works. We 
and it's more like it. Some of the vessels are huge green battleships which launch wave after wave of small fighters. The other ships are black and space, and their hulls are carved with strange alien writing. In combat, the two ships seem evenly matched. One fires blasts of fusion energy, while the other launches spinning projectiles. have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged, but we won. This victory belongs to each of us, every man, woman, and child. Every civilization, on every world. The drone is our primary unit of time. It lasts for an interval equivalent to four million rotations of our planet. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. Will you tell us about yourselves? This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. The long brownish guys from the moon with all the eyes and arms? They used to come visit us regularly about three drawings ago. They told us about all the interesting things they found from their strategies. They were really nice. What are you fighting them? But the Earth Park was such good guys. They had lots of interesting things to tell us about. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. Oh, then you should go check out a planet orbiting a blue star not too far from here. I think there is another blue star right next to it. We can't describe exactly... And we will honor those who died to give us that future. 
said that it was one of the rarest worlds in space, and that as far as they knew, there were only ten of these planets in this part of the galaxy.